Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install the cool backlight for your TV. In the package uh, you received spool of LED light three connectors, remote control, USB power cable, and a manual. So why is this LED strip different than any other LED strips? It's very simple. Normally when you buy a strip like this, you really cannot put it at the angles right here. So I don't know what to do. You know, before I was just taping that and I had a constant stream going across TV when I uh, was using that as a backlight. But this is much better. First of all, as you can see, the strip is really wide. Look at my thumb. So it's really, really wide. And this LED strip is basically comprised of sections. As you can see right here, this is connector of the sections, which you can disconnect. Now all you have is one section that you're going to connect with a flexible strip right here on the edges so this will make it much more uh, practical and then all you have to do is just put different sections and everything is gonna be much easier to install so basically you can clearly see on this uh, diagram that you have four sections and then you have three angles just in case you wanted to cut it into shorter pieces you also have nice description over here so you can see uh, all the connections and at the end of each uh, section, you have plastic connectors. Each connecting strip has also the letters that correspond with the other side of the LED strip. So when you plug it in, you know you can only do it the one way. And that's it. Let me rotate it this way. On the back of LED strip, you have adhesive tape, so you can stick to the back of the TV. That LED strip, as you can see, it's about 3 8 of an inch. And LED itself is about quarter inch. So this is how I connected it to my TV. The one thing, my mistake, uh, when I ordered it, uh, this is 55 inch TV. I made a mistake and I bought 60 to 70 inch so I ended up having a little bit more strip than I intended uh, I was actually thinking that it's gonna be a little bit shorter it's not so if you want it for 55 inch TV make sure you get something smaller so another point that I want to make is right now the lights are working perfectly uh, and I have a power strip connected to the TV if you want your TV not connected to power strip, you can also plug it into USB port on the back of the TV. I have one like this right here. If you plug it in, your strip light is going to have, take the power out of your TV. So you don't need any additional power supplies. But once you turn off your TV, there's going to be no power coming to your LED strip. I personally like to connect it to the uh, additional power supply because I, I have a smart uh, switches that I can use with Alexa to turn the lights on and on whenever I want to instead of using the remote control or turning it on every single time the TV is on. So now we have different colors in the back that you can change with your remote. You have a couple of options. You can also, also change the, the color manually. You can go to white at different levels. Basically, there are endless options to change the lights and also intensity. If you have any questions, send me an email and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.